Ninth grade Essentials of Physics Semester 1 exam for Fall 2013. Directions. Do all work on scratch paper. Do not make any marks on this packet. Choose the best answer for each problem. Fill in the corresponding circle on your bubble sheet. Use pencil only. Erase completely any marks outside the bubbles or changes or changed answers. First set of problems. Use the following descriptions to answer questions one through four. A high school physics class wants to see if air temperature affects how high a rocket flies. They measure the air temperature just before launching the rocket. An altimeter on board the rocket records the maximum height it reaches. They repeat the experiment 10 times with the same rocket on days when the temperature varies from 42 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number one, what is the independent variable of this experiment? A, the amount of fuel in the rocket, B, the height reached, or C, the air temperature. Number two, what is the dependent variable? A, the amount of fuel in the rocket, B, the height it reached, or C, the air temperature. Number three, which of the following should be a controlled variable in this experiment? A, the amount of fuel in the rocket, B, the height it reached, or C, the air temperature. Number four, what research question are they trying to answer? A, what is the relationship between the amount of fuel in the rocket and the height reached? B, what is the relationship between the height reach and the air temperature? Or D, is the model of the rocket safe for use in high school science class? Next question, question number five. During lab, the timer box displays two hours, four minutes, and 15 seconds. Convert this time into seconds. Is your answer A, 2,450 seconds, B, 3,961 seconds, or C, 7,455 seconds? Number six, what is the length of the flowing line in meters? B, point Five one five meters, C, one point five meters, or D, fifteen meters. For the next two problems, identify the most appropriate metric unit for the given distance. The height of a three-story house. How would we measure that? By B centimeters, C meters. Or D kilometers. Number eight, the width of your pencil. How will we measure that? A by milliliters, B by centimeters, or C by meters. Number nine, four point two meters is equal to how many centimeters? A point zero two four two. C, 42, or D, 420. Number 10, 0.8 kilometers is equal to how many meters? B, 80, C, 800, D, 8,000. Number 11, 81 millimeters is equal to how many centimeters? B, 0.81, C, 8.1, or D, 810. Number 12, put these lengths in order from smallest to the largest. 
B says the smallest is 700 centimeters, then 9,400 millimeters, then 500 meters, then 3 kilometers. C says the smallest is 9,400 millimeters, then 700 centimeters, then 500 meters, and the largest is 3 kilometers. Or D says 700 centimeters is the smallest, then 500 meters, then 9,400 millimeters, and then 300 kil then 3 kilometers. The diagram below shows the position of an object for each second for six seconds of motion. Which statement best describes the motion of the object? So time starts at zero in this box, then it goes up, time goes up to one, then two, three, four, five, and six. So what describes the motion of this object? A, the object starts moving and then evenly stops. B, the object's speed is decreasing. C, the object's speed is increasing. 14. Which of the following is a correct unit in which acceleration could be measured? Can acceleration be measured in A, meters per second? C, meters squared per second, or D, centimeters per second squared. 15. Acceleration can be best described as A, the rate in which velocity is changing over time, B, a very hard rate of speed compared to nearby objects, C, how hard, uh, how hard an object is being pushed or pulled if it is moving fast. 16. A bowling ball rolling down the center of a freshman hallway starts with a velocity of 8 meters per second. Five seconds later, its velocity is 4 meters per second. Its acceleration during this time was what? How fast did it accelerate? B, 2.4 meters per second. C, negative 0.8 meters per second squared. Or D, 4 meters per second. 17. What is the acceleration of 0 0.04 kilograms ball, golf ball? struck with 4,000 4, newtons of force by a golf club. What's the acceleration? B, 10 meters per second squared. C, 160 meters per second squared. Or D, 100,000 meters per second squared. 18. The difference between velocity and acceleration is that. What's the difference between the two? A, velocity is the rate of change in position, and acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. B, velocities are generally slower speeds, and accelerations are faster speeds. D, accelerations are bigger because in its units, the time is squared. 19. A skydiver leaps downward with a velocity of negative 5 meters per second. After a few seconds, her final velocity is negative 25 meters per second. What is her average velocity? Assume she's in free fall. You have to go through and use the equation, and you have your answers of A, negative 10, meters per second squared, B, negative 15 meters per second, or D, 30 meters per second. 
20. An object is accelerating if it's moving. A with changing speed. B extremely fast. C with constant velocity. 21. The standard metric unit of measurement for acceleration is what? A. A acceleration. B. Meters per second. Or D. Meters per second squared. 22. The graph at right represents the relationship between the weight of a baby and its age. What is the weight of a baby at seven months? So you have to find seven months and go up and find its weight. Is it A, six pounds, B, seven pounds, or C, 16 pounds? 16 Moving on to the next question. Using the graph at right to answer the next three questions. Which of the four lines on the graph at, at the right would show the best trend line for the data points shown? Which is the best trend line? Is it A, the straight line? C, straight line? Or D, the straight line. 24. What is the appropriate slope of line D on this graph? What is the slope of that line? A, negative 1. B, 0. Or C, positive 1. 25. Which of the following best describes the relationship between the price and the quantity shown on this graph? You have price and you have quality shown. Is it B, a negative relationship? C, the Y intercepts is 5? Or D, the quality of this product goes up? So does the price. Turn this section off and go on to ninth grade physics number two for the next set of questions.